What's going on everybody? Bradley Martin here. Um, and today is leg day, you know, um, cause you gotta confuse the arms, right babe? Right? The meat? Yeah. Bro, that's weird. What do you mean? That's Either weird. Babe. It's normal. What do you mean? It's normal, bro. It's normal, chill. Um, so, confusing the arms today, leg day. And actually, the reason why I'm doing this video is because a lot of you guys not only have like said this in the comment section, but you guys have said this to me in person. You guys are like, yo, how do you get such a strong vertical jump? Um, and today, that's what this video is about. It's about getting a stronger vertical jump and what technique you can use on the squat to help do that. This is just one, one technique. There's a whole host of things you can do. Um, I'm not the best vertical jumper in the world. I don't even know, is there is there like a number one vertical jumper in the world? There's people that are really good at it. Really good at it. Yeah. And that's, I'm not that guy, but I'm just telling you from my experience what has helped me, uh, what I've noticed, like the changes that I made in my routine that, that, you know, attributed me to be able to jump higher, right? So, because obviously I'm talking about there was a place where I was before, there was a place where I was after, and there was a change that I made, and this is one of those changes, okay? So, what that is, 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 um, right, is, 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 no, basically, it's the pause squat, okay? And, or it's squatting in a fashion of like, almost like you're, you're thinking about, you're gonna jump. Like, you're thinking about, you're gonna like, Say you have a plate, a uh, barbell on your back. Almost like you're gonna do like a jump squat, but you're never leaving the floor. But that, that same mindset of like, you're gonna explode into a jump. Um, like if you were gonna jump to like, to touch a basketball hoop or something like that. But, but the weight's on your back. So what I'm doing is I'm normally working with a weight that's obviously much lesser than my max, because if I'm gonna try and move it that quickly, then, you know, and, and be explosive with it, it's not gonna be like a crazy, crazy amount of weight. Um, so again, my weights are different than yours, so don't don't compare that. But what I'm saying is, for you guys, grab a weight that's like, I wanna say 50%, maybe 50% of your max, 60%, maybe like 70, closer there, but then that's probably about it. And then move it in a way in which you're being very explosive, like, um, but you gotta be methodical with it. So it shouldn't be like ugly. So it shouldn't look like you're grinding, you shouldn't be struggling, you should be able to move the weight like, quickly with good form and control. So I know there's all these different things I'm throwing at you, like good form, control, like quickly, explosive. Basically what you wanna think about is like um, jumping without leaving the floor, like I said. So you kinda of look like this. So you think about if I had no weight on my back, this is what it would look like. I'm here, I think about coming up, right? Like you're not gonna leave the floor, but you wanna do it quickly, you wanna do it explosively, and just get used to like going hard. I mean, I don't really know, how else, how else would you describe that? It's like, what would you call it? Like an explosive? A ballistic movement. A ballistic, like a, like a, like a battering ram squat? Yeah, like, you know, you're causing to take a shit. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's fast, it's explosive, it's like, cause that's your goal, right? Your goal, like, you gotta understand, there's, there's like, okay, if your goal is to be a sprinter, what do you do? Right, what do you do? You sprint. You, you, you practice that. So if your goal is to be a better jumper, you jump more. So to take that a step further, right, without injuring yourself, like, okay, I want to be able to jump higher, right? It's like putting a weighted vest on, but it's okay, now we have a barbell and we're loading plates on it. But we're not gonna actually jump super high with a the, with the heavy amount of weight on our backs because we could fuck our knees up. We could, we could, you, might, you might come up a little bit too high and land a little bit too hard on one side and it might fuck your hips all up. So that's what I'm talking about, be mindful, be controlled. Do it with, a, do it with a, a maximum amount of weight that you can, but with control, with explosiveness, with power. And think about like basically going from the bottom of a bottom, bottom squat position all the way to like, almost like you're about to jump, but pause, squeeze it, right back down and start again. So you should be able to control the weight in this in this movement. I guess it's, I mean, that's the best way I can describe it. But that's one thing I did that helped benefit me, um, benefited me, that helped me be able to jump higher. And I hope we can help you guys out too. That's just one thing. I got a lot more stuff coming because I know you guys always ask me like, what do I do? And that's one thing. There's probably like, like 700 other things, I would say. That's, a, that's like a long ass list. So I don't want to go over them all today. That's one. Give it a shot. I'm out. I love you guys. If you want more videos, like just dissecting like one like little thing, even though that was like a, probably like a it's probably like a six minute video at this point. Yeah. On the dot. So, but if you want more videos like that that are just like talking about a specific thing, let me know. At the end of the day, let's let it. Damn, bro, you can't even speak today. I'm still filming. It's, it's, he doesn't feel good, guys, but he's still powered through today's workout, so it's still pretty good. Damn. Props. Honestly, props to you, bro. It's a wrap, bro. You had a hard That's day. That's the first time I fucked up in like, how many years? I don't know. It's like 60, it's been like 16 years since I've done this YouTube thing. 60? 16, bro. 16. Well, that was embarrassing. Yeah, that was truly embarrassing. Um, so, 
What I was trying to say was, all right, I'm gonna bring it back. Comment, let me know what kind of videos you like, because at the end of the day, that's what this is about. You guys are driving this, what it should be, what it shouldn't be, what it could be more of. Like, you guys talk about, like, camera, uh, cameras, like, uh, excuse me, Kevin's shitty filming, right? He's filming, he needs, he needs work, so we're, we're, every time you guys give us comments about what you want to see more of, basically, um, what you want to see less of, uh, just things to improve, that's what this is about. So you guys are helping me improve this channel. Um, so it's, it's, it's from you guys. What you guys want, I'm trying to basically get you the best content, stuff that you're asking for. So that's what it comes down to. I'm tired of shit. I'm back from Germany. I got a cold, um, but still got it in for you guys. So again, comment below what you want to see more of. Um, and that's it. Let's get better together. I love you guys. I'm out. Sorry about the fuck up. I haven't fucked up in a long time. But as you can tell, like genuinely, like seriously, serious shit right here, I don't cut my videos. Like I really don't. But I, hope they, I hope they notice that. You think they notice that? Yeah, they do. I hope you sure. guys notice that. I don't cut my videos. I ain't trying to... Kit, like cut certain angles so I look a certain way in the video or like cut like a little higher or just show my upper body so that like you can't see my waist or like do things like that where like people are like I mean I'm never doing that like I'm never just getting no, angles look, look taller flashy shit like show off the cars and stuff and do all kinds do I look tall bro? Yeah does it make my dick look big? Damn because I need that <laughs> <laughs> but seriously like serious shit like I hope you guys can realize like how how just just real this shit is like I'm not I, I mean I don't even want to post a fucking video Fuck. We're posting it, bro. Fuck. This is going on YouTube. Fuck. One thousand percent. Fuck. I, damn, bro. It's been a long time since I, since I fucked up. Whatever. Today was the day. At least you got a fresh fade. Hey, I got a fresh fade. Let's, yo, let's let's talk about the fresh fade, though. Should I show him the hair? What are you going around the wrong? Where are you going? I'm I'm panning, bro. Oh, you panning? Okay. Show him the fade. You know. Please, boys. I guess that means we're good. We're done. So anyways, um, yeah, we don't cut the videos. I don't even want to post this video now. Fuck it, bro.